Okay, heads up, in this little tutorial we are going to make this funky animation. It's quick, it's cool, it has a lot of tricks, let's dive right in. As you can see, I have selected a nice background, I'll go to my rectangle tool or the circle tool, it doesn't really matter, let's maybe go for the ellipse tool. Okay, I'll go with the ellipse tool and with my shift key I prepare something like that. I place it in the middle, or somewhere about the middle with the V key and I have my shape layer. The only thing I need to do here is to go to add and add trim pads. Trim pads is a really cool feature and we are often working with it. Go to 0%, boom boom keyframe, go maybe one second forward and make it 50%. We want somewhat about 50%. Okay, now you don't see anything because you would need to select those keyframes, right click keyframe assistant, ease them in, then you would need to go to the graph editor. And in the graph editor, I want to work with the start. So I see the start is orange, why don't I see the start? I see the end first. So the end will go a bit to the left side, well, let me maybe displace it, and the start. Mm -hmm difficult to select. The start will go to the left side. Sorry I made a mistake here. And the end, okay, the end will lean a bit towards the right side, okay? So this would be the animation we get. In order to make the animation a bit nicer, we would need to select here motion blur and here enabling the motion blur for this entire composition. This will make the animation a bit nicer and we have a little mistake here that's because of the keyframes we adjusted so they shouldn't overlap each other they should end together okay as i have it like that i'll close this shape layer i'll close the graph editor and i'll make sure that i control d i offset i place it somewhere else and i press s like the scale and i make the scale a bit bigger because now it's a bit smaller, they should somewhere, yeah, you can see it, I don't like the end, the end should be somewhere else. So they like finish together. Okay, this is fairly decent. Well, it turns out not decent enough. S, bring up the scale of the first one. I don't want them to touch in this design, all right? So we have our first two lines, those are really perfect. I would just press on them, I would press Ctrl D, I would put them here on the top side, let me maybe select a different color, and now I would press S. Here I want negative 100, and here I want negative 122. You can see I'm mirroring the image with this little feature because we can go negative in scale and positive in scale and as you can see it just turns around. Now we will lower the composition and this is it when it comes to this little funky animation.